Light is light, or so they say, is it? Hey everyone, Stefan here. I hope you're doing well. It has been a while since we've done this, but now that COVID is slightly under control, not quite 100% yet, but we're back in the studio and I hope I can share some ideas with you over the next few episodes. So let's talk about this thing, light is light. Is it then really? Well, technically, of course, it's not. You cannot compare UV to a laser to lights that we use in the studio, but if we stick to photography, I think there is something to it. Because at the end of the day, it's a question of what do you want to achieve with your light? And then how to bend that thing to your will. For me, in portraiture, it's all about that decision. Do I want strong shadows, highlights next to shadows to really chisel the shapes? Or do I want this glowing, beautiful light? That comes down to modifiers. When it comes to my dance photography, ballet, contemporary, modern, it's not just the quality of light, soft or hard, it also comes down to speed. And that's one of the reasons why I decided to create this video. Because, ta da da da, I received some new lights. They have just arrived. This one is the Godox 1200 Mark III. For quite some time, I've been using Godox lights. These ones, haha, <laughs> there we go. These are the Mark IIs, and I actually have quite a few of those. Now, when you talk to top photographers, they always talk about pro photo, they talk about brown color, and yes, these companies produce amazing lights. But you also have to hand over half a kidney and sell one of your children on the black market to afford it. Now, it's great if you can do that, if you win in Lotto, great. But I would say the masses, the majority of people will look for other alternatives. And guess what? Even though I shoot for a living, I use a lot of these. And the difference in, in money, I then spend on holidays with the kids. Hey, it makes a lot of sense. Now, just to be 100% clear, this baby, I paid for it. And that baby, I paid for it. So don't get the idea that I'm just blowing up things. I actually paid for them with my own money. There's some things that I absolutely love about it and some things that I don't like as much. One of the things, is this handle here. On the Mark IIs, if you put a really heavy, a really heavy modifier on, and you have it on a certain angle, this will creep. It will creep. It will not be the most solid. That's on the Mark II. So on the Mark III, this thing now is rock solid. I tried it with one meter 20 octa. It's rock solid. And what I really like, and especially for me as a dance photographer, is that on the back, on the display, I see the speed. Why is speed important? When you have someone running in the park, well, maybe a gentle jog up to a run, you need to be above a 500th of a second, otherwise it's gonna be blurry. When they're sprinting, you have to be around 1200, 1500th of a second. If someone is jumping, and you want to freeze them in the air and have tech, sharp, hair, feet, hands, everything, you need to be around the 1500 to 2000th of a second. And that's where those lights really shine. And that's one of the reasons why I'm using these. Before the Mark II, now the Mark III. And to give it a really good test, I invited two incredible dancers and we will take some photos and they will be allowed to jump. They can throw the legs as fast as they want. As long as I push the button in the right moment, these babies will freeze it. There is one thing though. It's nice and well if it says what kind of a speed it does, but that's where marketing material very often goes wrong. 
You have to separate. There is a T.5 and there is a T.1 measurement. A lot of companies, a lot of lighting companies, they advertise a freezing time T.5. What that means is that the moment the flash goes off, it goes up to all the power you have set it to, and then it goes down to 50%. That's T.5. So that means that at the end of the time that they give you, you are still having 50%. And now in this, this case here, these are 1200 watt seconds. That means that T.5 would mean that they are still at 600 watt seconds. They're still illuminating my subject. So for me, what really counts is the T.1 factor or time. That means the light goes off, goes all the way to full power, and then it goes down all the way to 10%, which in that, mean, in that case means 120 watts for these ones. So they're not gonna illuminate much. So I will really have tech sharp images. Now, the figures that it shows on the display will be T1. However, I'm a freak in that regard. So what I'll do is I will use my Seconic light meter and not just measure the output, but also the speed. So let's have a look. So here we are at 1 16th power, 1 8th, 1 4th, half power, full power. Pretty accurate. So what you see here is reliable. And that's in the speed mode. You also have another mode where you can pick color balance. So it's more solid in the color differences, which we will test next week. I'll have two beautiful models in the studio, and then we will have a look at the color. But for now, this is quite a speed monster. I set up always several lights when I run into a shoot. So in this case, one big octobank on the side for more of a slightly side, but still very soft light. Then I use one of these ones, beautifully big umbrella to give it more of a fashion light from the front. And then I use a magnum or a sports reflector. That's this baby here, quite long and has quite the punch. I use this from the side to really carve out the muscles and give it quite a strong look. In addition, I use two lights on the back to either create that perfect white background or leave it off and then get that gray background as well. So let's jump into our dance shoot, take some great photos, and then we'll see if they're tech sharp as they should be. And then, yes, why not? I put a color gel on, a blue one, actually to get a really nice dark blue. Let's, let's make it two of them and let's have a look how that looks like. There you go. I really like the outcome. Of course, big thanks to Chantel and Finn couldn't do that without them. All the images are tech sharp. There is absolutely no issues. This baby has performed. I really like it. it. It works great and it fits in with all my existing lights. So if you look for a light that is affordable and really packs a punch, I think that should be one on your list to at least look at. Well, there you go. I sound like a salesman. It's shocking. I know, I know, I know. Anyway, hey, that's the stuff that I use. So why not share it with you? 
All right, that's it for this week. Next week, I'll have a look and we will measure and test how they hold up in terms of color accuracy. And for that, we'll go into beauty and a little bit of fashion as well. Until then, I hope you look after yourself and go out and create something awesome.